What's going on everybody? Hope you're having as much fun as I am with the Harrier. Um, really quick, if you're on this video, then you know what you're here for. Mavericks. So I'm just going to go over them really quick. This isn't in any kind of professional way. This is just based on what I've been able to figure out on the like second day of this thing being out. Um, so I'm just going to get this bird started and then we'll jump right into it. So one thing just to take note of as we're rolling down right now, uh, and before you continue on with this, is you want to make sure that you have your sensor select and your TDC buttons mapped to your joystick. You want to make sure that you have all of them, including both the aft and down positions. Um, it won't really necessarily matter much for the sensor select, you're just going to be using one of those for this portion, or for the TDC, both aft and down are going to be um, used very frequently. Obviously aft is going to be the one that moves your cursor down, and then TDC down is going to be what allows you to initiate a lock on whatever kind of target. Something else to also keep in mind is um, for the AGMs, you're going to want to have your stores page on your left MFD. The seeker head will only show up on that MFD. Uh, so, like I said, I have my storage on my left MFD and pretty much everything else is going to be on my right MFD. Like any other AGM-65, it will require a uh, power-up, which takes roughly three minutes. Uh, just like any other aircraft, whether it's the A-10 or, if you're familiar with Falcon BMS, the F-16. Now the power-up sequence can only be started once you're airborne, that means all your wheels have to be off the ground. And we're just going to do a rolling start, full power. And 100 knots, we're going to pull back on the nozzles. And we're airborne. Gear's coming up. Flaps are coming up. And nozzle set to full forward, and we got a positive rate. Now, we are officially airborne, so on your stores page, you are going to see on the first OSBD button, it shows IRMV. I have four times AGM 65Ds armed, uh, so because I'm using uh, Maverick with an infrared seeker head, it's going to show IRMV. If it were using Electro Optical, it's a EOMV. Go ahead and click this, it'll automatically switch your master mode to air to ground. Um, and then we have a standby right over here that just shows that your weapons are on a standby mode. Once they're ready to fire, they will show uh, ready. Again, this takes roughly three minutes. See it flashing on the HUD there. And I am going to engage my master arm, and I will see you once these are ready. And now that we check, we can see that our Mavericks went from standby to ready. It means that they are warmed up and good to go. They'll stay in this mode for an hour, from what I understand. Um, looking at the HUD, we do get some new symbology here, so again, the infrared Mavericks are showing, and then the amount that we have loaded on our bird, so four times AGM-65Ds. As stated before, you do need your stores page to be on specifically your left MFD in order to get the seeker head image on there. Simply by pushing your HOTAS and cage button, there we go, you will see it is now uncaged. On the HUD, we have a circle that is right on your meatball right there. Um, so at this point, wherever you point your nose is where your Maverick's going to be looking. So right at those mountain peaks, for example. And we have cursor. Um, we have the U symbology now showing up next to the infrared Maverick symbology. That just means that it is uh, uncaged. So under the HOTAS sensor select forward, we can now see that the Mavericks are now our center of interest, which allows us to slew it around with the TDC slew. 
so we can move it around, look at whatever we need to. And then the TDC down is going to initiate the lock. Now unfortunately, unlike the A10, there are no HOTUS controls to zoom in or zoom out. Uh, everything is controlled on the MFD itself. So the Maverick will enter a ground stabilize mode um, after about a second of not touching the uh, slew buttons. And then to recenter your Mavericks, there is an air to ground on designate button. I believe that's the pinky switch on the actual HOTUS. And you'll see we get that circle symbology right on the meatball again. So our Mavericks are now recentered. So we're going to shoot at two different targets. First is going to be a stationary target, such as uh, whatever we could find at this airport. I didn't really set up a mission for this. And it's a really simple process, just like any other Maverick. It's really just going to be a point and shoot. So again, we're going to be using our TDC slew to get that cursor right on the airport. the cursor we're going to put it right over the runway and see what we can find we're literally just going to be shooting at whatever we can find all right so we got a zoomed in field of view say whoever this unlucky fellow is right over here and try to get it to ground stabilize right on it perfect and because this is a light bird once you fire off one maverick be prepared to compensate for the uh, asymmetric load because it really throws you off. I believe the left one's going to fire first. And... I'm just going to wait for it to get a little bit closer. And I'm going to push my TDC down right now just so it'll lock whenever we get in range. There we go. And it's narrow. We're going to rifle. So once those crosshairs get narrow, you want to go ahead and fire your Maverick. Let's go ahead and check up on it, see where it's going. And that's right on target. I'm going to go ahead and recover and try not to die. And we're going to try attacking a moving target probably going to be something like a school bus. Okay, so we're back pretty much at our starting st um, step with the AGM right over our meatball again. We're going to go ahead and slew around look for a ground target. And there we got one right there. Go ahead and press my TDC down. And now that I have a, acquired a lock on him, notice that he is moving and my uh, crosshairs are not. So I'm going to push my TDC down right above him once again and fire. And that quick reaction is going to allow your Maverick to successfully uh, track him. I don't know if they're going to update that. Again, this is only on the second day of release, so they have a couple of things to hammer out. And where are we? Here we go. So we ended up uh, specifically attacking a school bus. That's awesome. And that's pretty much going to conclude this tutorial. Um, if I learn anything more advanced on the Maverick, I will definitely post it. But for now, sayonara. Have a good one. Hope you learned something.